Welcome to my channel. Join me as we explore the most beautiful and exquisite jewels worn by noble and royal families around the world. These are the jewels and tiaras that not only symbolizes power, wealth, and the pageantry, but also the family, history, love, and a sense of continuity. Please join me as I show you my favorite tiaras made from precious gems and stones collected by the royal families for centuries that adorns the heads of royal and noble ladies from past to present. In this video, we will look into the tiaras worn by royal princesses for the first time in public. Princesses who came of age at 18 or the ladies who got married into royalty. First on our list is the Miller French Tiara, currently owned by the Crown Prince family of Greece. The antique diamond French Tiara was thought to be a gift to Princess Maria Olympia of Greece and Denmark from her maternal grandparents when she was a baby. Princess Maria Olympia wore the tiara for the first time in public during the 50th birthday gala in honor of her father's first cousin, Crown Prince Frederick of Denmark. The tiara is a classic Russian Kukushnik inspiration made of diamond set in platinum. The tiara can nearly wrap around the wearer's head, almost forming a circlet. These photos shows her mother, Crown Princess Marie Chantal of Greece, wearing the tiara to several royal events. Next on our list is the King Olaf gift tiara, currently owned by Princess Martha Louise of Norway. As the name suggests, this delicate looking tiara is a birthday gift from King Olaf V of Norway to his granddaughter, Princess Martha Louise. The tiara is created by Gerard and it is made of diamonds in a foliage leaf design with pearl accents. Princess Martha Louise is the eldest child and the only daughter of King Harold V and Queen Sonja of Norway. On her 18th birthday, like most Scandinavian royal families, it's their tradition for royal princesses to receive tiaras as an 18th birthday present. So far, this is the only tiara that we know of that she personally owned. For years, this is her go-to tiara for royal events before she started using other bigger tiaras from the royal family collection. The third tiara on our list is the antique pearl tiara from the royal family of Netherlands. The first tiara ever worn by Maxima in public is the diamond base of the antique pearl tiara without the pearls. Here is a photo of the tiara in a complete form with the pearls attached. The tiara dated back to early 1900s and was made for Queen Wilhelmina of the Netherlands. Maxima's first tiara event was at the wedding of Crown Prince Hakun and Crown Princess Mietmarit of Norway in August of 2001. At the said wedding, she wore a smaller version of the tiara by removing the pearls. Since then, she also wore the tiara back in March 2003 for a state visit from the President of Chiampe of Italy to the Netherlands. Fourth in our list is the Danish Ruby Tiara from the collection of Crown Princess Mary of Denmark. Queen Ingrid gave the Ruby power, including the tiara to Crown Prince Frederick of Denmark to be worn by his future wife. It is made of diamond leaves and grapes made from rubies 
set in gold and silver. Mary's first tiara moment was at her pre-wedding gala in May 11, 2004 at Christian Borg Palace. At a sad occasion, she wore the complete set by wearing the earrings, the grand necklace, and the bracelet. Fifth on the list is the Queen Alexandrine of Denmark's Diamond Drops Tiara. On her 18th birthday, Queen Margaret II of Denmark's parents gave her this Diamond Drops Tiara, which originally belonged to her grandmother, Queen Alexandrine. The delicate tiara is made up of rose cut diamonds and drops of graduated brilliant cut diamonds and tremblant. Queen Margaret wore the tiara frequently on her younger years to several royal events. Even after ascending to the throne, she routinely used the tiara with her other bigger tiaras from the royal collection. In 1995, Margaret gave the tiara to her new daughter-in-law, Alexandra Manley, the bride of her son, Prince Joachim. And so far, it's the only tiara Alexandra wore during the entire time she's married to Prince Joachim, and continues to do so after the divorce in 2005. Number six is the Countess of Wessex Anthemion Tiara. Sophie's tiara was made by David Thomas of Asprey and Gerard in 1999 for her wedding to Prince Edward, the Earl of Wessex. The four anthemian elements of the tiara are said to be taken from Queen Victoria's regal circlet. She wore the tiara for the first time on her wedding day. For years, this was her only go-to tiara for every royal event before she had given access by the Queen to other tiaras. Seventh on our list is a Diamond Daisy Tiara. Made in 1910, the tiara was a wedding gift from King Harald and Queen Sonja of Norway for her marriage to their son, Grand Prince Hakun of Norway. Met Marit debuted the tiara on her wedding day on August 25, 2001. It will be her first public appearance wearing the tiara and for the first few years as a working royal. She will continue to wear this tiara for several royal events before starting to use other tiaras from the royal collection. Number 8 on the list is Crown Princess Victoria's 18th birthday tiara. The first tiara used by Crown Princess Victoria of Sweden was this sparkler, a gift from her parents on the occasion of her 18th birthday in 1995. She wore this tiara frequently at gala events when she was still a teenager, including at the first wedding of Prince Joachim of Denmark in November 1995 and at the celebration of her father's 50th birthday. <music> 